whole assembly con concur with a minority leader and member for Kadiani who uh, also serves as a national organizing secretary of the party Honorable Robert Bui's conclusions on the bill and I quote this is now I'm, I'm sorry I, I should go backwards a little bit uh, when we uh, we gave them our team A they gave us team B uh, the other side has put forward an anti-people finance bill anti-people finance bill and Sufuna I think was able to talk alwale the entire truth about this matter measures proposed include raising the gross sales sales tax from 1 to 3 percent doubling the rate of value added tax VAT applied on petroleum products from the existing 8 percent to 16 percent <laughs> under percent increase and applying various excise duties including an increase from 12 percent to 15 percent on money transfer services and a new one on milk and sugar maziwa nasukari further there's what um, what can only be called the ghost national housing development fund statutory deduction of three percent of gross earnings even their peers could not even stand before the committee of parliament to justify that therefore i wholeheartedly uh, concur when robert bush said i have never seen such a vicious attempt to turn kenyans into paupers so what happened to the clarion call of mamambogas and border borders indeed the hustler nation if you buy a copy of my book you will then be able to know whether your party leader is a hustler or not because a time has come when we must call a spade a spade if you know where Sekuru is it can only take the grace of God to be for one like me to stand before you and talk to you today well so while in Azimio and I want to conclude one Kenya feel Azimio one Kenya feel pain to remind Kenyans that we continually spoke of false prophets within quotes will come in, in to you in sheep's clothing but are inwardly ferocious wolves paraphrasing the gospel of Matthew chapter 7 at verses 15 it is uh, day by day becoming patently clear that Kenya Kwanza lied to this land. The finance bill is a clear affirmation of their falsehoods and we ask all members of parliament regardless of their coalition affiliation to stand with the people of Kenya and reject the bill in its totality line by line. We will push for an open vote where one's name is called out and he or she openly affirms yes or no. Kenyans want to know whether you are with them or against them. Because this is a matter so basic. Either we are going to achieve vision 2030 or we are going to completely ruin the future of this country through impossible taxation. We too ask unions and other organizations to remit rejection memoranda on the anti-Kenyan proposition. This 